ladies and gentlemen welcome to inspiring today this is a platform that is there to inspire inform educate and even motivate you for a better life now it's been a long time that we posted the video but i know you missed these episodes uh, but one thing you need to know that these people are not so so easily uh, findable and if we find that time and fit in their busy schedule we need to praise God for that. But at least today we have managed to get one of the most influential, one of the most profound, one of the most educative, one of the most informative, one of the most, I don't know, one of the most celebrated uh, pastors and uh, influencers in this uh, country, with Uganda, who is none other than Pastor Wilson Bogembe. Pastor Wilson, you're welcome on the platform. Thank you. I'm Joseph. Joseph, don't believe everything you say. One it, of the most, one of the... <laughs> but, but, but funny enough, these things that I'm saying, it's from the people. I mean, from these people. <laughs> from uh, Next time you them. just say Wilson. Let's welcome Wilson. <laughs> I'm okay, but praise God. Oh, praise but God. glory to God. Glory uh, to God. Yeah. You know, in this generation, it's so difficult to find a successful person, but yet humble. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. I've hosted the bunch, but yeah, at least someone tells you you have forgotten this one. You have oh. forgotten this attribution. But uh, let's. Be <laughs> <laughs> someone says, "Oh, you didn't say." I'm you a didn't say I'm a father. <laughs> I'm also an entrepreneur. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, basically, blessing. let's yeah. go a little bit in your background. Yeah. Uh, who is Wilson apart from the pastor perspective? We know. No, I'm. Um, I was born in Uganda, Masaka. That's like three hours, two hours drive from Kampala. Okay. I lost my parents when I was younger. Mm. I lost uh, my parents. Life was hard. Um, lost hope. Someone grabbed me on, uh, on my bad day and took me to church. That day I was suicidal, that mm. I felt I needed to die. You know, I was running into the cars so I could get an accident, but that's the day someone picked me and took me to church. It was indeed a desperate I'd, situation. Yeah, desperate. I had lost hope. I had lost hope. So I'm here today. So Wilson is just the story of John. Mm. When John said that Jesus went to a party, and he found water and turned water into wine. So I'm exactly... Is that John chapter 2? Water into wine? That. Yeah, which one is in John chapter 2? Wow. <laughs> water turned into wine. That's a brief summary of... Yeah, just water, like... Where you've come from. Water is the word sounds. Uh, so... Uh, no fun, hopeless, mm. no uh, confused, no place to stay, crying every day. I miss mommy. I don't know where to stay. I don't have food. I... How old were you by then? Ten. Around. Ah, that's yeah, really because nineteen ninety four. Yeah, I was ten years. Yeah. And uh, you got some. Was this person a Christian or somebody like yeah, a relative? Believer. Yeah, believer. But not. If a you've relative. heard about uh, the the prayer mountain. Yeah, Seguko. yeah, Seguko. Yeah, those are the guys that, oh. that picked me. And, wow, and, wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. And they they got you from the street, mm -hmm. uh, and they took you to church or in their homes. To church, to, yeah. To I church. was on the streets running into a car, mm. so it could knock me and die. Wow. Then someone grabbed me and took me to World Trumpet Center. At mm. World Trumpet Center, Apostle John Mulinde. Shout out to you, Pastor. Yeah, and Pastor Michael Chimori, if mm. you've heard, senior. We have Michael Chimori Jr. here, our pastor, but the father. Okay. So we. Yeah, from there to um, yeah, to uh, someone, Mr. Stephen in Bogo took me to church. Took, mm. shot up his hand. He was a church elder. Yeah, took me to school, and at school I met Jesus. You met Jesus. Yeah. So you start you meaning, you start you started your school as late as eleven years. No, I was already in school. You were already I, in school. When the parents died, that's when life. Oh, that's when yeah. everything yeah. moved down. Yeah. So you start school. Is that where you attribute your English to? Because I, most people, yeah. like people hear that, 
no pastor did it. actually most some pastors yeah. didn't don't really have those higher high education uh, education levels no i was and in a good school um i was in uh, okay I started at Chimwanyi Primary School, deep down in Masaka, where my father was a teacher, Mr. Mm. Chiravira. Then, I, then when he died, my grandfather, uh, Mr. Joshua, took me to a very good school called mm. Stella Maris. Wow. So I had a very good foundation. Yeah. And then life happened. Life uh, the, happened. Yeah. yeah. And, then, uh, and then when Mr. Stephen, mm. at that church, they took me back to school at Highway College, Makerere. Wow. Yeah, I went all the way to university. You went all the way. Yeah, Why do I people was... say you ended in senior four? No, I, no, I finished S six at Highway College. I started my ministry in S five. Wow. That's when I started writing songs and preaching someone. Mm. Uh, I was nineteen when this church started. This church. Yeah. Wow. And wow. then, uh, yeah, and then I went to Makere and I was doing IT. Mm. Yeah, that's that's why our church. When the Facebook era came, mm. I had an idea. That's why we were deep in a village. By then, now Nansen has become a city. Yeah. But you know, when you're in a village, you want to think uh, the social media, Instagram, Twitter like, is for the for city the people. Down people, down, down. No, no, the, the uptown the, yeah, people. Uptown like. people. But because of that background, I kinda was quick to get the to idea. Pick up. That's how the wash house and and me started streaming live you know so you join that church and that's where the transition sort of transition and life starts changing so yeah. you school there and how do you basically enter into music were you inspired by the my church father that you my father used to sing at uh, chijawemi massacre okay. mm. yeah he used to sing um uh, in the anglican church yeah and he used to write songs he had a band called hosanna wow yeah, so I kinda was always watching him sing. Well, do you remember any of the songs of that? Night? I remember quite. Many. Yeah, I remember them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like I read a song of Kamera Itanga Itanga Za. That's a remix of my father's song. Mm. Yeah, about Kamera Katunda in a camera I can see us. Yeah. So you get saved and uh, you start your ministry in church as I believe. Just as a fellowship, or yeah, just a member. Uh, yeah, just a member. Uh, but then later on, you joined the choir. Yeah, I joined the choir. I was mm. not really into it. I, mm. uh, I was just going there for like I'm bored. Those guys are always singing, and I liked music. And um, also, those kids looked so happy. Yeah. Every time they were praying, they they looked like they didn't have problems. Mm. I enjoyed. I liked their joy and. Every time they started to pray, they had fun, so much fun. So much fun. I admired the joy that those students had, because I knew most of them, and I knew their issues. Mm. Those that have not paid school fees, some are orphans, but when they start to worship, mm. praise God, yeah. with their local drums. Local drums. It's, it's like they're so in another world. Yeah, it's the joy it's, they had. It's so interesting on what small thing, what extent, what, what small thing can pull someone into mm. church. Actually, we had recently an interview with Levixon, and one of the things, main things that pulled him in church was that tea and bread and the sandwich they were giving at church. Mm. The porridge, I think. So these small things, I think, really matter so much in church. Mm. And so you're attracted to that because of the music. Mm. How do you enter? You, you understand now I need to go for singing because there were plenty of options, ushering, uh, I started to play the drums. I was naturally talented, so I was playing the drums, the okay. local drums, as they were worshiping. Yeah, and I remember actually in 2007, yeah. 2007, yes, you you had the drum, you were playing the drum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how I the local drums. Mm. That's how I started playing, and then my my um, we call them Papa, so the Mama Jolie. Yeah. She invited me to lead some worship, you know. Like preach. this ones we have for Scripture Union. Yes, and yeah. Okay. yeah. We were a group of very stubborn kids. We were <laughs> all of them are pastors here now, oh. but we were all the back, all in the back. We were back benchers, mm. and all we were doing is just being stubborn and being goofy. And so, it's the grace of God who mm. walked us from the back to. Yeah, and one day this preacher preached about hell and heaven. Mm. 
and we started to ask real questions. Then my father, who took me back to school from the streets, from the other church, mm. he always liked it if I was in church. Yeah. So I was doing it for him, so I, so I can pay my next time, for my next time and my next time. And yeah, so I didn't know. Like I said, the, this entire story is, is water into wine, really. Water into wine. You, you should actually check that John 2. Yes. John chapter 2. Jesus' is first miracle. Yeah. Jesus' first miracle. Water, water into wine. wine yeah. That's wedding. I think at that's Kana, yeah. yeah, at Kana. Yeah. Yeah. So you change and then you are still schooling while in church. Mm. But then how do you really say this is what I need to focus on now? Music. Because I believe that was not the only option. You were talented, you were an instrument, you were an instrumentalist actually. So how do you when do you say this is what I was called for and this is what I have to uh, do? I think I didn't really have a plan. I just you know it's like asking Lazarus, how did you come out of the grave? <laughs> like, yeah. I just kept um, I lost appetite mm. for everything and I had appetite for God's stuff. You know, I simply lost appetite for, you know, clubs, you know what I mean? Like all the young people, mm -hmm. you know, the things they want. We, I, I got an appetite for guys, let's meet and pray. Let's make a circle, let's make a circle, let's pray, let's sing. Mm -hmm. And then one day my teacher, Mr. Kirk, asked me if we could write a song as the scripture union fellowship okay. uh, to promote the song. The, it could be like a way of promoting the... The, so, the 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 school, mm. you know, and so we get more students. Mm. And then they hired Mr. Um, my papa, Mr. Paul Saka, mm. is highly respected in writing school music. Yeah, and so he's a legend. So he came to our school, and so I said, "Can I write a song?" And I wrote my first song called Yellow. Wow! And the school helped me because it was like. Everyone was writing songs. Mm. So we had a band and I wrote my first song about my shirt, which was my testament that I had one shirt yellow in color. And uh, so the school took the song to Impact Radio, to Top Radio, to Family Radio by mm. then. That's 2005, 2000. Uh... Yeah, around there.